Hello and welcome back to another information literacy video. Today we're going to talk about creative thinking. When you hear the term creative thinking, what comes to mind? Typical phrases like think outside the box, be innovative, think different. How does that differ from where we just came from in critical thinking? Often people say, well, you know, creative thinking isn't for the business world. Uh, critical thinking is where we, you know, when we're in the workplace, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be efficient and effective. Creative thinking is, you know, for artsy people. And I would encourage you, if you think that way, it's a very common train of thought, to go reevaluate the definition of critical thinking and be sure that you're not letting some personal assumption or bias creep in to what you think of these two terms. Quite often, they can be two sides of the same coin. A journalist has to think critically about what they're going to write about, who they're going to interview, what sources to use, what perspective to take. But they also need to think creatively when they're actually writing in order to write something worth reading, something that's going to grab people's attention. The CFO of your company has to think creatively in order to find ways to cut costs without laying employees off. But they also need to think critically in order to evaluate which one of those methods are worth implementing. I've got an exercise for you. I want you to look at this grid of nine dots and try to connect all of them with straight lines without lifting your pen or, paper, pen or pencil off the paper. And I want you to do this in less than five lines. And pause the video, uh, get you a piece of scrap paper and try to work this out. There are several solutions to this. One of the most popular is uh, four lines. And it looks like this. What happens when we present ourselves with a serious problem? Even if we're told to think creatively and think outside the box, what does our brain do? It, it puts constraints that aren't actually there. If you struggled with this, quite often you thought, well, how am I going to do this without going outside the lines, even if you didn't say that to yourself? And this is quite literally one interpretation of thinking outside of the box. What I leave you with is whether it's at home, at school, or at work, why do you need both creative thinking and critical thinking?